Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, this video is about the famous mukbanger seafood queen, B Loves Life. Yes, but before we get into it, I would like you to do this. Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you have not already, leave a comment, let us know what you think about the video and what you think about the topic. Also, make sure you cut your notifications on so you will be notified about our uploads. Alright, so just like you guys, I watched Be Love Life for the last, oh my gosh, it's been since 2016, so you guys do the math, a long time, and um... She is the one who made seafood look great. Thank God I know seafood is not good for you, okay? So I never went on to a seafood binge, uh, but it was enjoyment to, it was an enjoyment to watch her. Now, over the time, um, I noticed that her hands and her face and, and her arms and things like that started to swell. And I just thought maybe it was just a little bit of a, you know, maybe she just eating too much salt and then she had stopped a little bit, you know, it'll go away. Um, another thing I've noticed that she doesn't wear her nails anymore and I can understand why because she is swelling. It looks like she has maybe some uh, lymphedema going on and what's sad is this she has really uh grown an empire off of um something that's negative you know mukbangers or mukbanging um in and of itself is dangerous because you are literally placing all of these calories fat sodium and cholesterol and trans fats in your body on a daily basis and in the beginning it's awesome right it's fine your body it's, it's learning how to recoup and learning how to get rid of. But eventually, if you keep piling your body up with the same situations every day, you start to slow down. And yes, health issues can arise. Okay. And so being that I am a holistic practitioner, I'm also a cosmetologist. That's my trade. That's my background. I'm going to, I'm going to come from a standpoint of wellness on this video. Okay. Um, now, She's married as well. We love Nate and her children and uh, what's what their name? Darius and um, Dalvin. <laughs> yes. And I know that they're probably concerned. But one thing about it is because she has been making money and they love the lavish life. I mean, we've seen her her Bentleys and we've seen her homes, her mansions and and her money and all the things that she's able to buy, the Louis Vuitton, the the, you know, Christian Dior, all of the name brands. And of course, you know, it's biblical, you know, what what does a man gain to to lose his soul over gaining all of these earthly things? You can't take any of it with you. And so sometimes you have to realize that is it worth it? Is it worth putting your body through such scrutiny for a dollar and my answer is no it really isn't and obviously there are some 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 issues going on you can see it in her hands you can see it in her arms you can even see it in her hair okay so what happens is when we're eating all of these uh different uh seafood let's let's keep it to the seafood real quick seafood has a lot of cholesterol then you're adding all the butters, you're adding the sodium. Um, I know she uh, is successful with her uh, her sauce. And she has hot sauces out as well. Um, but the sodium content is way over the amount of sodium that you should have per day. Okay? And so those things that are happening with her hands, and, and that's not just about her, it's about, you know, anyone who may be going through this, okay? Um those things that we're seeing is basically saying her kidneys are basically screaming out for help. All right. There is no amount of water eventually to flush out the system. We have to drink water. Water is, is, is serious. Um, we are 70% or more water. But when you're placing sodium, so much sodium in your body, the body is going to take the water and soak it up and you're going to become bloated. And eventually you're not going to be able to take any, um, your, your body's not going to be able to flush out uh, the water and the extra fluid and, and lymph and all of that because that's what's building up. All right. And that can lead to a lot of 
wellness problems. And this is not to scare you guys. This is not to put anyone down. This is coming from concern because I too, I, you know, I go through weight issues and, and I'm very mindful of what I eat. So I'm going to tell you guys, seafood is not good for you. It's not even good for you once in a while. It really isn't. It's biblical. We're not supposed to eat anything without scale. So it's very sinful for us to sit here and just, in, in, you know, engage in that type of eating. Let's talk about what the shrimp does. The shrimp and the lobster and the crab, they are the, they call them the roaches of the sea, that's street term, but technically they are the cleaners of the sea. They eat the waste, they eat dead things, they clean the sea. So why would you put something that is literally meant to clean the toxic um, particles from the sea, why would you want to put that in your body and think that that is nourishment? It is not nourishment. It is putting your body through heck, okay? And your body is going to eventually think that it's a trash heap and it's not going to be able to work correctly, all right? So, yes, there is a um, a chemical that starts with a T, okay? So, when you guys are... now. You guys are grown listening to this. This is not to bash, judge, or anything. Because the Bible also says that what defiles the body is not what goes in it, but what comes out of the mouth. Okay? That is true. But I'm going to tell you something deeper. The things that we put place in our mouths dictates what comes out of our mouths. Hello? Yeah, because if you're doing things and eating things that is going to cause you to have high blood pressure, that's going to have issues with your hormones and things like that, it's going to make you a person who is not the best of yourself. You know what I mean? I know back when I was eating hot dogs and when I was eating oodles and noodles or Raymond noodles and when I was eating a whole bunch of salt and fast food, I was not my best self. I didn't get better until I changed what went inside of my body, okay? Because what goes in your side, what goes inside of your body does dictate how you act. If you guys agree with that, great. If you don't, that's awesome as well. But I just want to put that out there. There is a chemical that is a very toxic chemical that they put in seafood. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, share that with you. Okay, so there is a, it starts with a T. I should have had this, uh, I'm going to keep finding it. I'm going to keep talking um, about Miss B. Love. Now, the thing about it is she was doing this every day about a few years ago. And if you remember, she said, okay, I'm going to start to do um, three times a week. And I thought the reason why she was doing uh, three times a week is because maybe she had other gigs and, you know, she just didn't have, you know, uh, the time. But now we know and we can kind of things are just revealing, in, you know, it's um, themselves um, because now we see her health. OK, and just to let you guys know about the realm of of TV. Uh, sometimes people will upload videos out of order. So you may say, oh, well, the last video um, <clears throat> that she did, she looked like this. And the last video, she looked like that. Look, um, sometimes videos are uploaded out of order. So you really don't know how she looks. But her most recent video, I think that's more accurate. I don't know if, you know, those are old too. That could be from months ago. We don't know. But that, that's just a little tidbit. All right. So the sodium that they place, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Sodium uh, that they place inside of seafood to make it nice and plump and things like that is sodium tripolyphosphate, okay? That is sodium tripolyphosphate, also known as pentasodium tri um, triphosphate is a versatile chemical used in cleaning products, detergents, soaps, paint, ceramics, and food products. So do you want to eat a chemical that they also put in other products? Remember that issue back in Subway years ago when in their bread, they found out that they had a chemical in there that was going into yoga mats. I don't want to eat something willingly, you know, knowing that that same chemical is in uh, soaps and paints and ceramics. And if you go to a soap or paint and ceramic, they're not edible. Okay. According to a uh, wise Greek, it is often used as a preservative in seafood like shrimp and scallops to help retain um, plumpness. Okay, I think that's what uh, they're going to say. 
okay so frozen shrimp is a staple um for a lot of people but that's what you have to do when you look at the back of your shrimp i want you to go to the ingredients and see if this chemical is in that bag of shrimp if it is do not purchase it even if you get a chem free it usually says chem c h i'm sorry c h e m free even if you get a chem free um sometimes it'll still have a, a lot of sodium in it if you actually look at the serving size of shrimp it's not a lot of serving it's not a lot of shrimp per serving and it'll have sometimes four and five hundred milligrams of sodium per serving so just just imagine miss bethany who is b loves life eating shrimp every day plus her sauce plus all the crabs and all of the other things and then the fast food too and at her age i'm not sure i don't know i think she's at least 50 years old now um, of course, her body is going to react that way. Okay, not to mention she's also had a lot of surgeries. And this is to all of my women who want to go out there and get augmentations and get BBLs and things like that. Just understand that in you know years could could um, go by where you're fine, and then all of a sudden it's like boom, it just comes down like uh, a plague on you because those type of surgeries can lead to autoimmune disease and you guys do your own research this is not to scare anybody it's just to educate okay it can lead to autoimmune diseases and what happens is over time your body wants to heal so when you go in arbitrarily and you get these bbls and you get these chest augmentations and things like that um over time your body has to heal it has to speed up why because you have to still work you can't sit in a bed for two years while you heal that's not even possible you have to work you have to do what you need to do well during that time your immune system has to speed up speed up okay to help the demand of your body having to heal as well as you having to still eat and still do things every day that catches up with you okay that's why you know people like k michelle and even wendy williams they admit that they have some autoimmune diseases and they may not put the two together but i think k michelle did she did say that she acquired her autoimmune disease because of her surgeries so miss b loves life has had surgeries she eats all of this food and all of these things and so there's no wonder that there are some wellness problems okay and i hope and pray that her husband and her family you guys can just take your money and 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 just stop the mukbanging you know stop all of the negative eating and placing all of those toxins because she's doing it for the most part by herself i think nate could not handle it he has i think he has gout and she said it he has gout and gout is basically where it attacks your feet and things like that is where you have very acidic blood it comes from just having acidic blood so please take things like turmeric and things like that um to help with inflammation and things like that i'm all about um that type of vibe guys and you can always go to my uh details in the description if you want help on this topic as far as um dealing with things naturally that's basically what i do i know i got a little sidetrack in the channel but that is my base and that's my love as well i love to do that i've um, been studying this for years for my own issues that i've had and then i built a whole uh you know, kind of group for people who are interested in that type of lifestyle. Yes. So, yeah. So, he could not do it. So, she had to pick up the slack and, you know, and do all of that by herself. But I hope that she has saved money because she's, you know, as a millionaire, she has gone public and stated um, that she has made millions off of eating seafood. And how do you tell a person who has acquired such a lifestyle and acquired so many things on earth? And tell them, hey, to stop. No, you know, that's not realistic, right? Wrong. You know, the Bible says this. It says, what does a man gain just to, you know, lose his soul, you know, to our earthly things, basically. That's what it says, you know. It also says that it is easier for a camel to get through and not a needle than a rich man to get into heaven. But, of course, all things are possible. And those things are possible, meaning that you can change your life right now and say, look, I take these things right now um, that I've done. I thank you, God. But I'm kind of, you know, I, I want to live. I want to be prosperous. I want to have life. I want my body to 
to heal. Because right now her body's not going to be able to heal while you're still eating the same things that are causing the problems. So it's kind of sad. And if you read her comments in that video, her last video, okay, um, if you read the comments in there, her, her audience is saying, oh, they're basically concerned. That's the only reason why I'm making this video, because there's a lot of uh, things going around about this. And I'm like, you know what? I have to make a video on this and, and, and spread that to the people who are on this channel, you know, because I don't know who's listening, who has the same problem. Regular po folks have this. This is not a rich person's problem, even though they used to call gout a rich man's disease because, uh, you know, it comes from rich foods like, you know, eating a seafood and eating a lot of beef and eating a lot of you know, porks and rich meats and things like that. And you have to have money to, to really have that disease. And no, you don't. You, you, can, you can be a regular, smegular person like myself and get these kind of, kind of disorders. I remember when I was younger, my foot was hurting and things like that. I didn't know what it was, but I w my foot was hurting and I was eating a pizza with pepperoni at the same time. And I changed my diet and I haven't had that experience again. And later on, I came across the word gout. I said, oh my gosh, it looks like my body was very acidic and trying to get gout, which is very painful. Okay. All right, guys. So let's pray for Miss B Love's life. Whatever's going to pray that she uh, understands that her life is more, is worth more than uh, a check, you know, because at the end of the day, you can't take any of it with you. All right. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you feel if you watch her and what do you guys think about this topic? Thanks for listening.